What's up guys? Welcome back to David's Feed. In this episode, we visit an awesome collection of venomous snakes and get hands-on with some king cobras, including newly hatched juveniles. Get ready and enjoy. What's up guys, welcome back. As you can see, we're not at my house. Today we're in Netherlands visiting Dan, who has ever so graciously allowed us to come view his awesome collection of venomous snakes. Yes. Really cool stuff. This episode we're going to focus on some of his king cobras. He has some really big ones. Yes. He actually has some juveniles which he bred himself, which we'll show you something special about at the end. Yes. Alright, so what's the first one we're going to look at? There's a yellow corn snake. It's a very dangerous. This is uh, Mount Dolmo, King Cobra, uh, Hercules. It's in uh, Malaysian male, about four and a half meters. And we're gonna take a look if he, uh, he wants to be handled. But I've seen this snake so many times on pictures and I've always wanted to see it in real life at some point. Can I give it to somebody? Yes, thank you. Hello. Does he ever hood up or... Oh, okay. Sometimes. That answers that. <laughs> I'm rich. Just trouble fitting this one in frame. <laughs> yeah, there's almost not enough space. Well, it's not... It doesn't want to be able to do that thing, so... Like David's shoes, eh? I'm just gonna start slowly because I'm always a bit way more careful with a snake that I don't know. Whereas if it's like he's quite calm. Yeah, but still I don't I don't know. Ah next to you. Something is uh, uh, how his personality is like. This is a Malaysian King Cobra, right? Yes, yes. You can tell because they have the really creamy gold coloration. This is seriously, seriously something I could do every day of my life. It's just so special. Yeah, I come in. You lift them up. Yeah. Now you can lift them. Now you can lift them. You can see they're really focused. Something about it's quite them. easy to do if you know what you're doing. Yeah, it, it really. It, it's you see, if you don't, if you put the glow away, its focus is gone, and then the wood shoot. You don't shoot anymore. So you, you can see it's not really aggressive or something. It's provoked. Yeah. Very, very predictable snakes. Yeah, these you guys were saying earlier that you know as deadly venomous snakes go, these are some of the best yeah. to handle. Yeah, they're not all. No, you haven't. No, there's some real bad. But animals also, but the most are yeah. quite easy to work with. Quite predictable, as David said. Yes. Um, definitely feel comfortable with them usually, right, David? Yeah, I mean, it's also a species I have a lot of experience with. I don't think I would be anywhere this confident first time handling like the mamba or taipan or something. Mamba, I have mambas for more than 10 years also, and they're way, way more difficult to handle. You don't look at me. Pick them up. Do you hear that growl? Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, then it's not the ground and the glove is gone. It's totally calm. You see Kevin is good. He does it like Kevin. Yeah, of course. We all don't. No, but it's actually. We'll come around your neck also. <laughs> just, just, yeah. just like one of those banana Burmese pythons. 
That's quite big. Yeah, it's also really thick. The tail is so robust. Yeah, they, uh, they get fat easy in captivity. So I don't, <laughs> I, uh, I slow down feeding. I think I feed them now for about yeah, one every two months or something, but they need a bigger cage, but yeah, fuck the cut that. That was awesome. Yeah, I know what I mean. That they, they have a really huge area, but yeah. I'm very aware. You can see if I move my foot down there, yeah. he clearly looks at it. It's so intently like watching. Such a cool animal. Alright, so now he's gonna show us one of his Chinese kings. You'll see that they're quite different. They have banding, unlike the Malaysian and Indonesian ones, which are quite plain. Okay, I'll get out your way. And this one, just as tame or more tame than the uh, Hercules? I trust Hercules more because I have Hercules longer. This one is also pretty easy, most of the times. They're king cobras, so you can trust them for, of course. How old is this one in comparison to uh, This one is two years younger than Hercules. He's the, the father of the Captain Bread Kings I have. And, uh, he's a good breeder, male. Good for the second time. To him. Still amazing to me how small they are compared to the. Yeah, other. and this is an adult one. I think it gets a little bit bigger, but not not very much. Yeah, this one doesn't hood very uh, very good. No, but I actually I almost like them more when they don't hood because it shows that they're completely yeah. comfortable and not and not afraid. Okay. Does this one change a lot seasonally in the color? Yeah, in the, uh, in the winter they got almost completely bare black. He's now in the in the midterms and in the in the summer, nine in May or something, he's, uh, he's really gold. He's gold color. He's the most nice color you can imagine. And now he's in between in the middle. And the female has it even more even more. The female changes color more. Yeah, more than the male. She's really gold. Do you know the exact locality where this one? Hong is? Kong. Hong Kong. These are Hong Kong. Yeah. The bread kings in Europe are from Hong Kong. They're from uh, from one breeder, and uh, most king cobras. Uh, this also is offspring of that. And uh, there's one breeder who has uh, real Chinese kings, but the most are from Hong Kong. I just need to get a better vantage. These snakes are so big; it's so hard to like get and David don't... down to the floor, yeah. down to the snake and in one breath. They don't like, sit in your hands the way other snakes do. They're somehow very... I, I normally let them crawl up the floor and let them go, and then uh, I handle them. So yeah. the, they, they like it the most, that you you don't pull them back or something. Yeah. Sometimes I let them uh, crawl about my living room with, uh, with supervision, and they oh. like that. Oh! Gonna hoot? You don't like your shoes, mate. <laughs> stretch out, it's quite big. Give me the... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. You can see if he wants to bite, he bites very easily. Yeah, you can bite him a hundred times in, uh, in 10 seconds if the snake Yeah, and if it wanted to, it could bite me uh, at any moment. Yeah, then he plays in your face, in your chest, everywhere. But the snake could choose not to do... Uh, it has no reason to. You can see it. It. if the snake doesn't hoot, it's a calm and uh, it doesn't feel a threat. In my opinion, King Cobras are the most uh, most easy venomous snakes to work with. Yeah. If you know what you're doing, of course. But that's what I was saying. They're, they're, that's the thing with King Cobras, what makes them so amazing is that they're so easy and great to work with, but they have probably one of the worst bites you can get uh, off a snake. You can see Hercules, they think he gets food. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to eat it. <laughs> He's really eyeing up this smaller king cobra. I had him in the other room uh, to each other, and when I pulled this out, he was really bumping his nose to the to the window to eat it. 
we had an awesome and video. This one, like a poor, poor mamba out or something, then uh, he is with his nose to the window. You enjoying yourself, David? Yeah, I could do this all day. <laughs> Nothing better in the world. And you can see that I used to do There's six people around here that the snake doesn't give a shit. Alright, well, thank you so much okay. for showing me this beautiful animal. It's quite big. Yeah, they're misleadingly. Um, if you see Large. that crawl, uh, you think, oh, it's not a big snake, but it's still three meter. Yeah, on the video, meter. it probably looks. It like looks really something. small, but it's not that the snake is really small. It's that the enclosure is really big. Yeah, yeah, I have big enclosures for them. Big snakes need big enclosures. Originally, we had hoped to film us feeding these three-week-old king cobras for the first time. Unfortunately, that didn't work out as we'd hoped. We tried feeding a couple different individuals, but none of them would. This one seemed the most interested at times getting our hopes up, but in the end we think it was just being defensive rather than taking a real interest in the prey. Instead, we waited until the following morning and decided to get up close and hands on with one of the little babies, because it isn't often that you get to have this experience. We're gonna do it on the floor, right? Yeah, yeah cool. Right. So, carefully. Take this one down. How do you open this? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah, you're right. You can see this one has some nice, unusual, bent, unusual bent. Okay, she knows he's not, he's not behaving. how big they grow and how fast they grow yeah also. just within a few sheds they can like double in size the Malaysian king cobras can go to two meters in one year yeah but you were telling me yesterday the growth rate also depends very much on what kind of food they get yeah if you feed them on rodents they don't grow that fast if you feed them on snakes they get about two times as fast bigger putting up a little bit Now he lost concentration. <laughs> yeah, I find juvenile kings to be relatively calm most of the time. Yeah, they're only just in the beginning. Such a beautiful snake. Incredible. It's amazing how different they look from the adults. If you saw this out in the wild somewhere, you would never think it's a juvenile king if you didn't know. I love the ventrals of baby kings too, they're just disbanded with these speckles, really beautiful. What a cute little snake. Stunning. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we're not going to handle it for too long. We don't want them to stress out and have problems eating later, so I'm just carefully going to put this guy back. And we're not going to take out the others because they're all more or less the same. You guys got to see what they're like just from this one. Still, it was so cool to come here and be able to have a look at these. Yeah, all of this was really, really cool. Danny has an awesome conduct collection of snakes and these were a and unexpected also... surprise. There he is. <laughs> I'll leave a link to his page down below so you guys can go check that out. Um, yeah. Ooh.